Hi, hi, my name is Alex Chia. I'm the chef lecturer in Bujai University College, and today I'll be presenting you Pansier Salmon with Bean Cassolate. Okay. First, I'm going to use um, the Malaysian palm oil to saute the ingredients for the bean cassolate. I'm going to put in the onion first, then the garlic as garlic tends to burn a bit faster. Okay, the goal is to sauté the onions until it's a bit translucent. And the reason why I like to use Malaysian palm oil in my cooking is because it's high in vitamin E and it's cholesterol free. Alright, next, after the onions are translucent, I'll add in the garlic. and we'll saute this for another minute or so. Okay, once everything is fragrant, I'll start adding in the sofrito. Right? Which is first, we have a brunoise carrot. Celery. and red capsicums. Okay, after this, we're gonna add in the beans, the cannelloni beans. So cassoulet is in French. In a layman's term, like in Malaysia, we call it a stew. So it's a bean stew with the sofrito, which is the aromatics, and some sort of smoked meats. So for today, we have smoked uh, duck. Okay. We just heat it, try to heat up the beans a bit, let it get the flavor into the, the stew. And now we add in our smoked up. I like to put the smoked duck without searing it. Some people like to sear it until crispy. You can put it as garnish at the end of the dish as well. But I like it this way so the whole stew itself has that smoky smell. As you see now, it starts uh, releasing its liquid. So it's a bit more creamy. So now we can add in our aromatics like thyme and bay leaf and also um, our whole peel tomato. Yeah? So we're just going to pluck the thyme leaves instead of putting the whole sprig in. Next, I'll just put one dry bay leaf. and then one uh, whole peel tomato. So you can break this, you can break the tomato up as it's already can pasteurized, so it's really soft. As it cooks, it will break down, it's, it won't be one whole chunky piece. Once you see the colors start to vibrant, like the celery and the capsicum, you can add in your water. You don't want to cook it for too long as it will start to dull the chlorophyll and all the other colors. So now I'll just add in a tablespoon or two of water. As you can see, as by just by adding that two tablespoons of water, it becomes like a sauce, like cream. Yeah, this will stew for another five minutes and it's done. Okay, right now I'm gonna pan sear my salmon. Starting with a cold pan, I'm gonna put in my Malaysian palm oil. Just to coat, just enough to coat the pan, a light thin layer. Okay, now I'm gonna season the salmon. 
It's just a bit of salt. We don't want to put any pepper as it might burn. So, with a cold pan, I'm going to put the salmon skin side down and then turn on the heat. Okay, one thing good about the Malaysian palm oil is that it has a very high smoke point, which means I don't have to worry about it turning bad or oxidizing very fast. So I just lightly press down on the salmon so that it don't curl up. That's one thing important as well when you put with a start with a cold pan, it doesn't shrivel up very fast. Yeah? And we'll let this go for three to four minutes. As you can see now, the pan is starting to smoke. This is the reason why I really like to use the Malaysian palm oil. So I don't have to worry it being uh, turning bad. All right. So after three to four minutes, we can start to flip the salmon. As you see, because we start with a cold pan, we have even browning throughout the skin. Yeah? Okay, now after we flip it, we put it in the oven, preheated at 180 degrees for about 3 to 4 minutes. The reason why I like to use Malaysian palm oil is because it's naturally semi-solid. Therefore, it doesn't have to go through the hydrogenation process which also makes it transfer free. After putting the fresh herbs, I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. Just a bit, because the, we must remember the smoked duck is already a bit salty, so we don't put too much salt. Okay, and this is done. So by the time this is done, our salmon should be already ready. As you can see, the salmon is perfectly cooked because we put it in the oven at 180 for just 3 minutes so it doesn't go all cool and too dry and the skin still remain crispy from the cold pan technique we did just now. So for the plating, I'm going to put a bit of uh, bean cassoulet at the bottom. Finally, I'll just put the salmon that we pan fry right on. To finish off, I'll put some fresh coriander around. And lastly, I'm going to put the Malaysian red palm on. This is just to give it a bit of colour and also a bit of a nutty flavour. There you go. Pancit salmon chops with bean cassoulet.